What is going on, you guys? Steve with the video for you today. So today we're going to do a player spotlight video, and it's going to be on the player Terry Steinbach. But before we get into some Steinbach, I'd like to give a channel shout out to the Tony Psyched on Baseball Cards. Tony's a big time Oakland A's fan and big supporter to my channel and many other YouTubers out there. And he's a big Oakland A's fan, so it only makes sense to give him the channel shout out to Steinbach. You know, on his channel, you'll see a lot of uh, Oakland A's stuff. A lot of vintage and you see a lot of ricky henderson's coming going off his channel but a little bit of everything so please go check him out go support him a link to his channel will be in my description now let's get on to some uh, terry steinbach so terry steinbach was a uh, mostly known as a catcher for the oakland athletics he was born on march 2nd 1962 in uh, new Ulm, minnesota so he's currently 61 years old and he grew up in new Ulm. That's about an hour and a half uh, southwest of Minneapolis. And he played high school ball out there. And he was drafted in the 1980 Major League Baseball draft by the Cle Cleveland Indians, but decided to go to uh, college at the University of Minnesota and not be part of Major League Baseball. So he's a Golden Gopher. After his uh, college run, he was... Uh, Drafted in the ninth round in the 1983 Major League Baseball draft by the Oakland A's. And after he got drafted, he spent a few years within their farm system. And he made his Major League debut on September 12th, 1986 against the Cleveland Indians. Where he hit a, hit a home run off Greg Swindell in his first Major League at bat. So that's kind of cool. In 1987, his rookie year, uh, he he would hit 284 for a batting average and have 16 home runs and 56 RBIs, and he caught 37 base stealers. So he had a 14-year Major League Baseball career, uh, 11 years with the Oakland A's, from 1986 to 1996, and he had three years with the Minnesota Twins from 1997 until his retirement in 1999. So his career stats, he had a 271 career batting average, 162 home runs, 745 RBIs, 1,453 hits, and he had a career war of 28.8. Some of his career achievements, he was a three-time All-Star, and he was the starting catcher for the 1989 World Series champion, the A's. And, I don't know, let's get into, you know, a little bit of his life after baseball. Um, he got into coaching, and he was a bench coach for the Minnesota Twin for some time. And he was uh, ultimately let go. And uh, last I read, he's uh, helping coach into a high school out in Minnesota. I think in New Ulm, if I read, if I read correctly. And... I was kind of enjoying the retired life. My final thoughts on Steinbach was, uh, you know, I got to see him during his later years. I really remember him back then, and I always seen him as a very consistent and very good hitter and defensive catcher. Um, doesn't get a lot of credit when talked about, but, uh, you know, I always thought very solid, very good catcher. I think just a guy that a lot of teams would like to have, or a guy, yeah, <laughs> a guy that a lot of teams would like to have as their catcher, and, you know, 271 career batting average, that's hard to do these days, I don't know if it's just because pitching's harder, but, you know, a guy could get on base for a catcher, so that's it, uh, I'm going to show a few more, and please go check out Tony's Psyched on Baseball Cards. Appreciate your guys' support, and I think I got a few here with the Twins. Let's, let's go through a few more. Let's go through some more of these A's. Here's the Twins. And just got a couple. Here's a Twin, and here's a Twin. All right, guys, thanks, thanks again. Please check out Tony. Talk to you later.